Good day, you're watching my favorite YouTube channel. I am Chillmonger, and are you a fan of diversity? Do you dislike the all white, all right Marvel? And you're more about that all new, all different Marvel, right? Right? You like Ms. Marvel? She's got a new series right now. It's going to be with Wolverine, and it's going to be coming out in about two months from now. And that comic book has issues with me. Not that she's being featured. That's great. I love that after a history of a lot of white characters being featured at the top tier of Marvel, a lot of white characters being the most prominent on the Avengers, most prominent on the Fantastic Four. Uh, Spider-Man is their highest selling guy, happens to be a white guy. I mean, the little, little thing that's happening here is very white. And I like that there's room now for like a new character to come in. And I want this new character, Kamala Khan, Ms. Marvel, to be raised in prominence, slowly but surely, hopefully she can get on the tier there so that we can say a list of the top 10 Marvel characters and it won't look all white. Because if we did that right now, it totally would. If you think about the Hulk and then Amazing Spider-Man, you think about characters like um, Iron Man and Captain America who are top tier characters. We've got Thor who's a top tier character. I'll count the Fantastic Four as one. I want to say the X-Men, but Storm Storm is up there. Storm is up there. I'll just say Wolverine, because I think he's above Storm. Why am I forgetting all the white characters? Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers. Did I say Hulk and Thor? Did I say Ghost Rider? That's, uh, you know, top 10. <laughs> oh, man, wait, maybe Storm does make the top 10. I don't think Black Panther makes the top 10. Definitely not if you're thinking about sales. Ooh, I should do a video on this. That's a separate video. Top 10 Marvel characters. See if all of them are white or if someone cracks in. I should I should say top 5. Storm isn't a top 5 character. So the top 10 of Marvel characters, top 5 of Marvel characters, all happen to be white. And it'd be nice to get Kamala Khan, someone who looks the way she looks, her physical appearance, to be up there. So that we don't send the message that actually Kamala Khan was a victim to. And the message being that the this, this genre of superhero happens to look like that. So it's great to have new characters in here popping up. Ms. Marvel teaming up with Wolverine is a comic book. Oh, I didn't have the screen shared yet. Damn it. Sorry, you're going to hear a bunch of clicking right now. But Ms. Marvel book is here, as you can see in Previews World. It's being written by Jody Hauser. Who? The artwork by Zay Carlos, who Sarah Pacelli, I know her, and you can see in her artwork, and we can see a top tier artist for the covers, but actually inside the book, it's going to be a no one. My issue is I can see clearly the level of importance that the comic book publishing company known as Marvel Comics has, the, the, the reverence that they uh, give to Kamala Khan. Why does she keep getting these creators on her? Why doesn't she get the top 10 comic book writers? And those might all be white, maybe. But the ones who you reward with a job like Amazing Spider-Man. Zeb Wells is writing that comic book. What he did with the Hellions got him this job, I would imagine. People like the Hellions book. People like Amazing Spider-Man. Marriage. I get why that happened. We talk about character uh, comic book writers like Jonathan Hickman and how he got to be the X-Men writer. You know? There's, there's levels when you are a name and when you care about a comic book character, you give them the names. Hulk, Thor, they're all being written by Donny Cates. Uh, name that you're probably yelling at your computer screen. But chill, Kamala Khan is not on the level of Hulk and Thor. Exactly. She's not. And how is she going to get there with the writers that they put her on now? With Jody Hauser. Or Hooser. I don't hate Jodie Hauser, but I know she's not a name. I don't can't think of a comic book she's been writing for Marvel consistently and was rewarded this. It's more like, hey, here's an opportunity. I don't. Why does Ms. Marvel have to keep being the opportunity book? She doesn't have to. She shouldn't have to. If you care enough about combating your white history, all white, all right history. Uh, maybe put one of their top tier writers on that comic book. You can't even say the, oh, we wanted someone from Pakistani heritage to write Kamala Khan. You know that one where they go, well, the, the most fitted person to write this character is someone from the origin of that character. You can't even do it with Jody. 
Unless maybe it's a woman thing. I Maybe Jody's a male, though. There's male Jody's out there. I doubt it. Okay. I think that it's weak of an argument. I think maybe someone's heart at Marvel is there. Like, oh, let's, we're doing a comic book with Ms. Marvel. We're doing the right thing. Their brain is certainly not in there. And there's enough people around who know the truth, which is what I just said about top-tier writers and top-tier characters and how they seem to find each other. Let's do it. Jason Aaron is writing the Punisher. Don't tell me Punisher is a top 10. or He's a D-list character, maybe C-list character. But Jason Aaron is a big name and he happens to be writing the Punisher. Why? Because you cared about it. Why? Because there was actually like some police officers and, and former armory people who were appropriating the Punisher symbol. You wanted to stick it to him and you were motivated enough to do it with a writer of Jason Aaron's caliber. Marvel Comics just did that this year. Is Jason Aaron doing Ms. Marvel, Kamala Khan, and, and Wolverine? No. Point proven, point taken, game set match. There's no discussion after that, that they don't feature Ms. Marvel properly. It's also our fault for not buying the comic books, which I do. As you can clearly see right here, here's a comic book that says Ms. Marvel Beyond the Limit. I've been reading her since she started got about every issue don't don't quote me on that maybe i don't have every issue but i've got i read her what's happening in this comic book which is a one shot except there's going to be three of these a dire threat all capital letters and a period not an exclamation mark a period a dangerous mystery and only the toughest heroes of the mu can save the day when a mysterious threat lands in new york city oh new york not Jersey. It's got to be New York. Maybe there's not a portal in Jersey. Ms. Marvel takes matters into her own hands, but with Krakoan security tech compromise, you can bet Logan and the X-Men won't be far behind. I'm interested in how Krakoan security tech is compromised, so that's a good reason for why Wolverine is going to be part of the book. The best there is at what he does, Logan, teams up with one of Marvel Universe's most lauded heroes. What does lauded mean? In an oversized action-packed adventures for the ages, be here for the start of the Sega and follow through August and September because August is the Moon Knight book and Venom is the September book. They join Kamala Khan for the superhero spectacle of the summer. I like that. I like the way they worded it. I don't like that he's going to be Venom and Moon Knight. They, them two guys are going to be taken over. I wish it was all Wolverine. But they will be able to call the, the, the Moon Knight book and the Venom book issue number ones. That's coming. I like the art here from Sarah Pacelli. We've got these top tier X-Men. Storm, who I told you she's top tier. Cyclops, Jean, and Wolverine. Those are the top four comic book uh, uh, Marvel characters. And then you got the, the artwork of Venom and Moon Knight. So the it's being sold as a big deal. There is a history with Wolverine and Ms. Marvel around issue number six of Ms. Marvel. Back in 2014, she needed some sort of guidance and she found mentorship in Wolverine, who happens to also heal, funny enough. I hope that the healing thing returns, man. I hope that her powers are the same in Ms. Marvel, the series on Disney+. Plus. It's such a mistake. It actually addresses the problem with why comic book characters are all white and what that does to the impressionable minds with what Kamala Khan sees. She she becomes Carol Danvers when she wants to become a superhero. And funny enough, she can't heal if she's Carol. She has to heal because she gets shot. She has to heal if she's Kamala Khan. And that shows like strength in being yourself kind of subliminally, but it's there and it's kind of the messaging you want everyone to be experiencing, especially the kids, but they're not doing that, but they are doing Kamala Khan. So it feels like they did from what they got right. The casting of Iman Vellani. That's what they did right. Everything that they did that's not accurate didn't matter. I can tell what they think matters enough by what they thought was worth following per like by beat, by who they cast it. But by doing Ms. Marvel and changing a lot of stuff. Eh. Also, who's writing Ms. Marvel? Is it Michael Waldron, the guy from Loki, who's also writing the Doctor Strange movie? Who was also, after reading those two scripts, Kevin Feige is going to have him do his Star Wars project? Kevin Feige has only one Star Wars project. 
He's choosing Michael Waldron to do it. So is that who's writing? No, it's Bisha K. Ali. What's her filmography? I don't know. I, I heard she was an actor. Uh, sorry, comedian. That's her history. But I guess she fit the description. Don't be mad at me for telling you what happened. That's that's what happened. That's the value that Ms. Marvel Kamala Khan has over at Marvel Studios, over at Marvel Comics. She is what she looks like and nothing more, it appears. I want a character who looks like her to be treated with the reverence that, you know, Captain America, Iron Man, those guys get. She's not getting that. She's getting Bishke Ali, Jody Hauser, Jose Carlos, these bottom tier names. That does not mean that they're bad. I'm not insulting them. And I haven't seen the show yet. And I haven't read the book yet. I'm simply saying from a selling standpoint, those names are not selling the comic book the way that, oh, what what the heck's happening here? It appears that um, Nick Spencer is writing a new comic for Marvel. Let me check it out. Jason Aaron's doing a book right now. I wonder what that's going to be about. There are names who do that who increase the sales of a comic book. Let me know when Ms. Marvel Kamala Khan gets that. I'm Chillmonger. Go check out some of my other videos. There, If you like Black Panther, if you think that they should recast T'Challa, then check out this comic book video here. 33 burning Black Panther questions, mostly about the movies, but we definitely dip into a couple of comic book stuff. And we all think that they should recast T'Challa. That's a whole nother soapbox that I could get on right now.